Welcome to iPacky. In this video we will demonstrate how to use on-screen batch picking in iPacky. On-screen batch picking allows you to pick using a mobile device with all the info you need on the screen. This means no printing with waste of paper. Will work on any device with a standard browser, mobile phones, or tablets. Also improves the information flow and workflow. Can be used with a barcode scanner or by clicking on the screen. It's recommended that you view the video about picking lists packing slips first to understand the options and filters. Select the menu. Select picking lists packing slips. Select the orders you want to pick. Click on the screen button. This is the screen for on-screen batch picking. In the header the orders will be listed, and their properties. The order number. Click on the order to see a preview of the order. In the preview, you can view details about the order. The number in brackets is the picking box. Enable in, settings, view, show picking box. When using picking boxes, iPacky will number these from 1 to the number of orders selected. This means that the picker can put the items for a specific order directly into the corresponding picking box. When checking the order later, the picking box will also be shown to select the right box for checking. The customer's order note, if any. Move the mouse over it, or click on it to see the note. The packer's note, if any. Move the mouse over it, or click on it to see the note. Remove an order from the batch. More about this later in the video. Bin location. Learn more in the help system, or watch the Metafields video. Product photo. Enable in, settings, layout, show product photo. Click to enlarge. The quantity of this item for the corresponding order. The order number. The picking box, if enabled. Product note, if any. Learn more about product note in the help system, or watch the video about Metafields. Product inventory in Shopify. Enable in, settings, view, show available quantity in picking list. Picking notes. Enable in, settings, picking notes, send updates on email to, learn more watching the video about picking notes, or in the help system. Total quantity ordered. The quantity picked. Click to register one as picked. Click this button to edit scan quantity. The sorting of the order lines is set in, settings, layout, sort order lines on. The changes are only applied when starting a new batch, so we will do this batch again with the new sorting on bin location plus name. The order lines are now sorted on the bin location for the optimized picking path. We will now start the picking process by picking each product, and register this by clicking on the plus icon, or using a barcode scanner, recommended. The line turns blue when partially completed. The line turns green when completed. Let's say that when trying to pick this item, we find out that the inventory in Shopify is wrong, and we don't have this item in stock. Click on the picking notes icon. Click the save button. The picking notes will be sent to the email specified in settings when the batch is completed. Click on the order this product belongs to. Click on the Edit Packers Note button. Click the Save button. The Packers Note will be sent immediately to the email specified in Settings. Click the Open Order in Shopify button. 
If we want, we can tag the order. Close the order tab. Close the order preview. Remove this order from the batch. The status of this order will be reset back to unpicked. The order has now been removed from the batch, and we can continue. Learn more about Packer's Note and Picking Notes in the Help System, or view the videos about them. In this video we will now skip to the end of the batch picking. If you have set up workstations in iPacky, and have set, settings, options, assign workstations to check picking batch, you will see this dialog. Select the workstation you will leave this batch at. Here you can put a note on the batch to make it more easy for the packer to identify which batch is which, if they have multiple batches waiting in line. Click the OK button. The batch number will be displayed. Click on the Close button. The picking list overview is shown again, and the picked orders are not visible. Some tips regarding identifying these digital picking batches. Use a code lock or similar to identify the last one or two digits from the batch number, and place it with the picked batch. Buy or create some numbered badges that can identify the last digit of the batch number, or the note when using workstation assignment, and place it with the picked batch. You can also identify the picking batch by the person who picked it. The created batches that are ready for order checking are in picking batches. Select picking batches. Learn more about picking batches in the help system, or in a separate video when available. Thank you for watching this iPacky video. For more details, read in the help system, or watch videos when they become available on ipacky.com or on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook. Start packing error-free today.